Good morning, good morning. The paper is out, thank you. <laughs> Vying to be first to give me the bad news. Yes, it's out. Actually, one, two came out and one went back in. Ishikawa-san's paper came out and they, no, three came out. Paper for Ishikawa-san, Dei-chan and Karen. The paper came out today and then I got an email from Ishikawa-san saying she doesn't feel so good, so she ain't gonna be here. So put it back in. Okay, today's job. Hopefully I can get back to the carving today, but before I do, we've got another job that came in suddenly, come up, came up. Going by the size and shape of this, regular viewers should know what this is, perhaps, right? I do this about every once a month or so. Any guesses what's going on here? Yes, it's that time again. It's time for my monthly or about monthly embossing day. Yamamoto-san came over, not last night, Monday night, Yamamoto-san came over and brought a new batch. And again, just whatever, I probably said the same thing last month, I'll say the same thing next month. These just keep getting better and better and better. The background block, the block for the sky now, it's still got clear foam, but the wood grain is just gone. It is totally, totally smooth. The difference between summer grain and winter grain is now pretty much evened out. And we are getting beautifully, beautifully smooth blacks. The fine lines here, up in here, and then up in the cartouche, they're still fabulous, still perfect. The little, uh, what do you call it? The little uh, straw things on the boat sides, they're clear and sharp, the eyes are okay. Because we do this in such small groups, the blocks never get abused. They never get worn. What do we have now? 1,500, 1,600? I don't remember. It just keeps going. Okay, embossing. Let me get this out of the way here. What are we going to do? Um, if I put the out pile to my left, and the in pile to my right, board. Yeah, it's a few things. It's a soft touch with the pigment brush, as you mentioned. It's small groups. The blocks never have a chance to get uh, really, really, really soft. When you print a couple of hundred copies of something, the wood gets really, really soft and they're easy to damage. We just do it, like I said, 50 or 60. He gets 60 sheets of paper every month. And he returned 57 of them as nice prints. Coffee out of the way, no disasters here. Have we talked about the bedding on the new era name? I, I don't know. I got blown away. I was totally wrong. I was guessing I think it's something that was going to start with Ann. I got wrong about that. I don't know anybody that guessed that right. It's nowhere near it. Let's see, the Miss sweatshirt is not gone. It's chilly this morning too, you know. I've got my puffer on here actually. It's quite chilly this morning. The last couple of nights have been tragedy for, for hanami parties. The cherry blossoms are out all over Tokyo. The last two evenings, there's been cold, drizzly rain from about 6 o'clock to about 9 o'clock. Perfect evening hanami time. There's been some tragic parties out there, I'm sure. Oh, let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. And they all get totally soaked. I feel really sad about that. Okay, check. Namiyura, check. This is Yamamoto, check. That's what we've got. Let's get going. What time does day san arrive? If you mean day san the printer day san she'll be here just around 9.30 when I start, and she won't be coming in and saying hello here. She just goes straight upstairs always. It's a present to day chan because she's so young. We don't, we don't call her day san That sounds really funny. For us, it's day chan We 
get a slight dampness on the paper. I've got the wrong glasses, I'll get changed. this one. For those of you who haven't been here before, this is what's going on this morning. Let me try and find an angle here where we can see it. There we are. It's the embossing. We have a shadow here. It's the embossing of the names on the print. There it is. It says, E Katsuko Hokusai Hori Buru Devido Suri Yamamoto Shun. It's the embossing we put on all of our prints. And let's zoom. I guess that's it. I can't really zoom closer. We have 57 copies to do this morning. As I said, I gave him 60 sheets of paper. To get 57 out of that is a very, very happy ratio. I'm not upset at all for a print this, uh, this complexity. she's going now. We know where she's going. Do you provide the finely ground pigments? No, I know I don't provide the pigments for these. In normal normal work when we hire printers, outside printers, like this is going to an outside printer. The printers upstairs work with my pigments. I buy the pigments, they use the stuff here. When you're hiring an outside printer, in normal work, they use their own pigments. That's part of their job. They supply that stuff. We, of course, tell them which ones we want. We tell them what kind of style of pigments we want. And in the case of the print like this, where I'm talking about the grinding, 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 Yamamoto-kun, because he really wants this work and because he really wants to do a good job, he goes with what I ask him to do. talking about this you know the fine lines this is one of the places where things break up behind this boat behind these heads and these oars because it's so fine that's where you see breakage happening you'll see where happening at the top of the mountain because it gets pressure from the barren it's at the edge near an open place so anywhere at the edge the tip of this boat and the tip of the mountain get worn out quickly this area here too gets really heavy pressure because it's the edge of a printing area so this gets worn 
And of course the cartouche. In our case, the cartouche is carved on boxwood, so it's going to last a million years longer, much longer than the rest of the block. Then another area where you see wear in the old prints is, I mentioned, this little straw stuff in here. These little dot, 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 dots. On ours, they still have a good, nice shape of straw. It's just perfect still. It is absolutely perfect still. The embossed letters here, they're not carved at all. We're using a polymer plate. We do so much embossing of names in all our prints that we don't take the time and trouble to carve tiny little blocks for each one. We get polymer plates made. I saw him the other day. We were asking, who is that dude that goes by every day, every time with the two wheelies? What's the question? I saw him. What would it be? Today's Wednesday. It must have been Friday night, Saturday night. This is a homeless guy, and he is living out of his two wheelies. And it's really cool. It's, they're neat and clean. His clothes are clean. This is not some total shabby, you know, down and out guy. This is some guy who's got his life really well organized. But yeah, he's homeless. He's, he's living out of this. I've seen him the other day. And it was funny. I was walking down the street, not here. It was a street in another part of Asakusa, and I heard that sound. Wait a minute. I've heard that, a double wheelie sound. Listen to that. I looked, and there it was. It's the same guy with the same wheels, the same pattern on the side of the case. What time was that? 8, 11. So we've got two regular passers-by here. Our cast of Asakusa characters.
Does the printer have the block set? Yes, Yamamoto can keeps the block set there because we're we're only using one printer for this job in these current times. He just holds on to the block set. He's doing other work for us right now. After doing the Great Wave, he's moved on to something else. Blocks come and go and come and go and come and go. But he keeps this block set there. If we did have another printer in house who was capable of doing this, we could do maybe a job every two weeks, do another sixty copies every two weeks or so, and we'd rotate the blocks. But I just don't have the staff to do that. So he holds on to the block set, just sits it there. So what do we got going here today? Today's Wednesday. Uh, I think Cameron Jump should be here on normal time, somewhere in like 20, 30 minutes from now. If I get this finished, I'll move on to the carving. We've got the carving still going on on the Patreon chibis, which I have got to get out of here in the near future. It's already into April now. They're due to be sent in early May. And we're gonna need hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And if there's time, we've got, a, I think I've got a short show and tell. I've got some small stuff that came yesterday we could show. Nothing dramatic. Well, if we get really lucky this morning, there will be a delivery from the post office, not from the Takuben service. There's three or four things due to be delivered this morning. And one of them is due to come by the post office, and the guy is going to stagger in the door with it. Helicopters, more than one. Oh no, helicopter plus luggage. The guy's going to bring uh, wood blocks, and it's a package of about 50 wood blocks. But, but, these are not wood blocks that we will be using for our own work for carving. These are carved wood blocks. They're, they're, they're block sets. And I scored 10 block sets a few days ago. What's going on out there? Choppers, I think. I'm not quite sure what's going on. delivery by two helicopters to our roof, yeah, right. Jeez, it's noisy out there today, it's crazy.
Now what the blocks are, they're similar, similar to ones that I showed you a couple of months back. What these are, the 10 block sets, and they are for postcard size prints, wood block prints, and they're pre-war, I believe, made by the Takamizawa Company. And they're all for designs by Hiroshige, but they're quite rare, unusual designs. I'm not actually quite sure what print sets they're from. Some guy had them up on Yaha auction. We talked about this the other day. Which I said 10 block sets, I'm sorry, it's wrong. There were 10 block sets in the set of auctions. Somebody else outbid me on two of them. So there's eight block sets coming today. And each one has four or five pieces of wood. So it's a bunch of, you know, what, about 50 pieces of wood, 50 blocks. But they're, po they're postcard size. The, po the post office guy will bring it in in a box that he can carry. And according to the pictures on the, on the auction, and according to the one or two sets that we did get a couple months ago, these look like usable blocks. They're not totally worn out, bashed up blocks. We're thinking that we can add these to our catalog, that we can start printing them and add them to our catalog. And that's one delivery that's due to come today. And another delivery, I shouldn't talk about this. <laughs> it's coming, it's be a very, very small box. It could go in my pocket, very small box. And it's from the Raymar Company. Raymar with a W, silent W at the front. Raymar or Raymar? What's it spelled? I don't know. Touch the Twitch page, we have to pause it. Let me see this. How do you spell the company name? Raymer, W-R-A-Y-M-E-R. -E and it's a delivery that we've been waiting for for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Months and months. And it's coming today. But don't get too excited about it, even after you look it up and find out what it is. Don't get too excited because, man, we are busy in the shop these days. It's the cherry season here. We're wall-to-wall -wall chain-smoking print parties. So even when you figure out what that little thing is that I've ordered, don't get excited because it's going to be a while before I get it up and running. You know, it's something. It's not Baroner brushes. It's something for the for the stream. Product number, product number. Oh, it doesn't show in my order email. It doesn't show the product number. Yeah, product number EL310. for my daughter, is it something? This is my daughter's uh, alert here, hang on a sec. Okay, nothing needs an answer right now. Another party. Was that for today? Glasses on, glasses off. Oh, we're booked for today. There's no way it can be for today. No, June 6th. I see. No problem. No problem. Parties are pretty much sold out. You know. the, the party requests are funny. You know, there was one in yesterday's email. <laughs> Sorry, forget the exact wording. It says, uh, we just checked your party reservation, reservation page and we can see that tomorrow you're all sold out. 
can you please fit us in somewhere? And it's like a party of three or four. And they said, we checked your page and we can see you're sold out. Can you please fit us in somewhere? How can I answer this? What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say? Well, we'll cancel somebody else. And we'll just, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. No, the you know, email sounds, it's nothing. I just do it in my email client. We're using, I'm a, I'm a Mac guy, so I'm using the Apple Mail program built into the Mac. And there's lots of things you can ask it to do. If you've got a file of sounds ready on your computer, I've prepared the sounds, little music clips, MP3s. And you can set rules. Each, each mail program does it differently. They're called rules in Apple, or they might be called something else, whatever. And I can set it that when the email has specific words in the subject or something like this, or from a specific person, move it to this box and play this sound. So I used to have many, many, many more early days of this Twitch stream a couple of years back. You heard me. Uh, different orders came in from different products. They had different sounds. It was real good fun. My machine is yelling at me all day long. But uh, once Cameron came a year and a half ago and took over the order processing, I don't hear those parts anymore. So for me now, email alerts are just a few that I really need to do quickly. The print parties, I've got to see reservation changes right away. So I have an audio alert. I've got an alert, as I said, from my daughter, so I know when something comes from them. I've got another alert when there's a great wave order. You hear that, the wave sound. Stream running, running, running out of control here. I'm missing all of this. Email client, I wrote myself. No, 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 I haven't tried that one. We have our own blog software. I wrote it. We have our own software for running our, our, our business. I wouldn't write an email client. <laughs> what would the noise be for the Optimus print? Interesting, interesting. <laughs> We haven't got the order page ready for that yet, but that's a good question. What sound should I play when requests come in for the Octopus Sprint once it's up and running? Well, the easy, quick one is uh, Ringo. That would be a, a low-hanging fruit. But can we do something more interesting? I don't know. I think we'll go with a, a clip from, from our friend Ringo, I think. <laughs> we 
when am I going to get that freaking thing finished? You know, I don't know. I don't know. Sushi time. <laughs> a couple of the other day they've been here before they were here whatever a year ago or something when I was upstairs and they'd seen the work on the octopus but upstairs a year ago so they came in expecting it to be in the shop you know because of course Dave was carving it like a year ago and I had the bad news they I showed them the block here they're like that's not much change from what it was a year ago <laughs> there's things I can control and there's things I can't control How's the test print for the green JJ going? More oh, done, signed, sealed, finished. They're up and running. They're building it. They're building it. It's not finished yet, but they're they're each the first two girls, Ishikawa-san and Sugi-san. They're partway through it. Sugi-san's off for a few days actually. She won't be in. She would have been normally here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week, but she booked off. It's not sick. It's uh, is it okay to tell you? I guess whatever. She's having dental work done. Uh, and uh, rather than do it little by little by little, she's having some kind of massive stuff, just pulled molars taken or something, I don't quite know the details, but rather than try and work through it, she just booked off for a few days and she's going to sit there groaning, holding her jaw for a few days and then come back to work. So. But she's scheduled to work, she knows what she's doing, and she'll get her, her JJ grant off in time. Meanwhile, Ishikawa sounds working away on her group. Right now, uh, Kanai-san is working on her group of JJ4, the second group. We do them in two groups. The group of people that have subscribed for the first of the month, and then the second hundred people get their prints on the 15th of each month. We stage it so that our printers can share the blocks. So the print for April, Ishikawa-san and Sugu-san made their group. And then the blocks went out the Kanai Sun. She's printing her group right now. That'll be back in a few days, ready to be shipped on the 15th. We've got a good production system here, you know, back and forth. Blocks get shipped around, samples get shipped around, the girls work away at it. So JJ is okay. Block set block set for number six is almost finished. Chong San's nearly done with that. I heard from him the other day. Jed's got the designs ready for number seven and eight. Eight, I think, are both in the can. We've got a good, uh, a good setup for it. For the green JJ number five, right? We ended up really swapping out the colors. The color scheme that Jed had proposed in his Photoshop file just didn't, didn't do it at all in real life. So, uh, so we've changed it.
but looks fun. Looks really nice. JJ6 is the carp. Yes, that's right. JJ5 is a stone lantern in a sort of a forested garden. JJ6 is the carp in a pond. 7 is... Uh, Remind me. Seven is up on the Nakasendo. I don't know if Jed's ever posted that. It's probably on his Instagram somewhere. It's people walking in a village up on the Nakasendo. Yeah, number eight, you've seen that. That's the tea, the tea fields with the wonderful clouds in the background. And nine, nine is uh, sketched, but not, uh, no, not worked up yet. It's a scene, coastal scene. A guy fishing up on the coast with some rocks and stuff. Was that top secret? I don't know. Ten is unknown. Eleven is an onsen scene that is worked out pretty much already. A snowy onsen scene. And then twelve is a TBA to be to be announced to be decided. We have blocks. Ever come up missing in the Japanese mail system? Stuff missing. We I can't remember any such event here in Japan. Overseas packages, yeah, we get crap all the time. But uh, oh, Jed's here. Jed's here. Good morning, sir. What are you doing up this morning? I spoke to you like four hours ago or something, and you were in. You were up in the middle of the night. And no, what time did I speak to Jed? I was just before I headed for bed last night. Oh no, before I headed for dinner, like for me, 8 o'clock in the evening or something. 9, 10, 11, 12. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning for Jed, and Jed's still up doing something. Even while he's talking to me, he's trying to do something and work. And I'm like, Jed, are you going to bed? And he says, well, I'll think about it maybe later. And that was like 4 o'clock in the morning for him. batting around some ideas for what to do next year. You know, nothing to announce, of course, yet, but we were just batting around what to think about for next year. There's so many possibilities, so many jobs, so many series, so many things we could be doing. It's only April, so we don't have to panic about what to do next year, but we, whatever seeds are growing and different thoughts are coming up, late again. It's got the most unreliable train line in the country, if that's the case again, you know. Somebody's mentioning Sekiro here, and I get mail about this, you know. I've had a few emails from people saying, Dave, you guys have got to do this one in your Ukiyo Heroes. And I myself don't know anything about it, but uh, I get this frequently now. Dave, you've got to do Sekiro. Jed, do you know about that? Are you on to that game? Do you know anything about it?
It's a Japanese game, right? I think somebody mentioned to me, I think one email said, Dave, you've got to do this because it's Japanese and it would be easy for you to contact these people, or something like that. The mail came, I can't remember. Okay. Just went up the stairs. Dei Chan, I guess. Who's in today? Dei Chan and Karen and. Uh... Oh, delivery, delivery. Two men in the doorway. Cameron and the delivery man. Is it the post office? So it's not those blocks. Yeah. This is from Oh, it's yeah, it's the Hanami other cats. Blocks. Yeah, the second <laughs> block. And what's the other one? Uh, Ome. Ah, oh, nothing, nothing. None of, none of the two packages that I mentioned. So. It's the you know second key block for the Hanami cats. Right. I remember mm -hmm. you mentioning it. Did but you an email yesterday. Yeah, right. and I got a real problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've lost my color separation plan. So. Yeah. Wow. How you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. Your incipient cold is okay, no problem, or? Uh, no, I think still just lingering. Uh, so what's the deal? We turn off, I forget the routine now, we turn off this camera and we rotate this thing, which is not a problem anymore. Ooh, that's a nice hand heater. Mm -hmm. Warmer, yeah, so, warmer, so. Yeah. Nice day out there. Yeah. It's crazy. It rains every night at Hanami time. Yep. And it's beautiful in the morning. Uh, so it yeah, fools the companies. Oh, good. We could have a Hanami party tonight. They send uh, the kids out to put the blue sheets. They get all set up. They order the food. And then it's chilly, drizzly rain for like yeah. three hours from six to nine. I can't yep. believe it. The gods are just laughing and laughing and laughing. <laughs> oh, dear. The thing is, it's all the kids, the new kids for the companies that have to do this. You yeah. know, the, the brand new Shinshai, and they get sent out to get these blue sheets and sit on the ship yeah. and get ready, you know. And then it turns out to be a total disaster. Yeah. Give me a bit. i got to get this out. cable. Okay. Hi. Okay. All right, I'm good to go. It's like my cold coffee now. Almost done with the great way, so I got about ten more left or so. Oh, great! But I have a, a small, tiny show and tell. Nothing dramatic. A little, little, little one showed up yesterday. And we're waiting for it. the reason we were laughing about the package that you were the delivery guy. Yeah. I mentioned that the post office is coming today. Right. With some wood blocks. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. But the post office doesn't usually deliver. I think just about the time we're finishing the stream, right? That's when the post yeah. office guy usually, usually drops off yeah. his packages. Yeah. 
I think Jed's in this one. He yep, just yeah. He's been chatting. Some people were asking about uh, his recent Spider-Man print. Saying it should be a woodblock print. And then uh, Jed said, Dave had some good reasons to veto it this time around. Yeah, but. I mean, the couple, I mean, it just sounds like I'm out of jerk vetoing. It was a, sca it's a scaling problem. Yeah. You know, you know we, have a, we still can't get into making all band prints. It's still structurally not possible for mm. us to make these prints at all band size. And Jed designs them with almost A3 size, even yeah. a bit larger than Oban. And when you shrink them down to the size that we can physically and handle here in terms of production methods, the sometimes the carving is too fine. Well, it's not the only I mean, we can microscopically carve it, but it doesn't yeah. work as, as an image that small. So, so it's not that I vetoed it because I don't like that crap or whatever. It's nothing at all like that. Yeah. More physical limitations. It's a structural limitation. Yes. Yeah. So, so. And then there's also the copyright thing. You know, we've a lot of these things. How, what we can parody, what we can't parody. Yeah, how close the can video you get? game world yeah. runs to a different set of rules than the movie world runs mm. to. You know, there's lots of issues here. So, mm -hmm. so I wasn't against the design. It looks cool. It's good fun. You know. Yeah. Uh, I hate copyright stuff. Someone says. <laughs> details, details, right? So. Yeah. Be the next hero woodblock prints, but Jed said, I'm not sure my recent ones can't be made into the smaller format woodblock prints. Mm, so, but we, he and I were chatting about that last night, and uh, I mean, we're certainly not done with this. So, uh, yeah, one little temporary, not temporary, one little uh, milestone in my own mind. I'm thinking about mm. we, we've got 17 of them, right? So, we published that book with 10 of them bound together, and I would really like to do volume two, yeah. So for sure, absolutely, I want three more heroes. And he and I were chatting about this last night, about oh, cool. what might be good good theme for this. You know, Great. at the moment he's got we've got the JJ series. Jed's got a bunch of work that's not related to us making yeah. pens and stuff. Mm -hmm. I guess for for his fans out there. Yeah. But uh, there are going to be, uh, if I can anything to do with it, at least three more Ukiba heroes prints. Absolutely. Yeah. We were lightly tossing around some suggestions last night. I think in the stream just before you came, there were a few ideas going back and forth. Oh, great. Cool. I want to do is lose that franchise you know? yeah. and even though some of the early ones we made will sort of quote sell forever yeah. it only works when you're keeping the series alive and, and fresh yes, if yeah. you don't make new ones it just gets stale even the old ones get mm -hmm. stale yeah. so even if for no other reason than to keep it alive and up on the internet to keep selling the first ones yeah. we should keep going making more you know, of yeah. course and, Probably what we're going to find with the next few we make is they're going to be along the line of the one we just finished, the Chrono Trigger game, where it's not a giant bestseller that sweeps around the world and everybody lines up to get it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful work of art that will be part of our catalog for many, many, many years to come. Yeah. And not everybody wants it, not everybody even gets it when they see it, but the fans who are out there are rabid, and there are enough of them to take care of it, and it's also enough of a beautiful work of, it, work of art by itself without the game reference. Yeah. So if we can score three more like that, I will be happy, even if they don't pay for themselves in, in, in years, in you know, I don't care. Yeah. scaling problem with some of those images yeah. and it was a similar issue for that one and I had to swallow hard before yeah. I took that on. Yeah. But luckily the, the the beauty in that one is not so much the little details of each person's face but it's the overall mood and feel yeah. and gradations of the campfire and, and the yeah. setting. 
So even though some of the faces and details were so small, we pretty much lost some of them. Mm. It didn't matter because the impact is is the mood of the scene yeah. as a whole. You know. Makes sense. We ended up with almost 30 impressions. It was a Was it 20, 20 or 30? Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. 27 or so. Plus. But that's probably not counting kind of someone. She did the double, doubles and stuff, didn't she? So they don't get yep. counted. So yeah, she had to do uh, doubles on some colors. Suki-san's off me for a few days now, right? For the surgery. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're talking about Disney and copyright law. <laughs> I'm not, you know, it's better than it used to be. Things are getting actually better. You know? Yeah. I think Disney has changed. There was the, what was the guy's name? I don't know, Eisner. Mm -hmm. When he was in, it was, it was, you know, uh, my God, nobody could go near yeah. him, you know. Uh, but now it's, it's changed, you know. That's good. You know, at some point, these companies realize that they've got to be fan friendly to a certain extent because you know, fans are what they're all about. Yeah. You know, I mean, without fans, they're they're dead in the water. Mm -hmm. It's not just marketing, you know, commodity products. They they need to allow the fans to develop the the, the, the fandom. You know, to make the thing a thing. You know? Yeah. Three or four left here, then we'll switch back to our carving, I guess. Oh. Have you sent out mailing list notices about these? Yes. These batch? Yep. Okay. And so people are getting there's orders you know, coming. Quick in. response. Yeah. <laughs> Today? Uh, I think oh, usually on Thursday. No, Thursday. Okay, so, so probably tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I got some stuff ready for blouse. Oh, okay. it's wrong. To clear okay. up. We'll label, label stuff. Oh, nice. Taz687 says, FYI, I watched those Takamizawa blocks go around at 10,000 yen for about two weeks, maybe three or four times. Yes, yes. After being reduced from 20,000, I had the opportunity to buy Yodoi Fairy print at 10,000 before it sold a week later for 15. I don't know the Yodoi. Okay, well, no, that's not quite okay. true. They didn't go around at 10,000. They went round. I think it was 30 first. They went round and round. Then okay. he dropped it to 20. They went round and round. At that point, we offered the guy 15 for each for the whole batch. Yeah. He didn't reply. Okay. Then he dropped it to 10, and that's the point when I waited the six days and mm -hmm. then jumped in that evening. Yeah. There were 10 sets. I've taken eight of them and two other sets, and maybe this guy, this person got here, did, got one of them. Okay. So they didn't go around at 10. 10 was the point where, bing, yeah. I jumped in, you know. But the seller was crazy. He ignored me. We offered him 15. Yep. You know? and, and then they all went for like <laughs> So I guess maybe my mail went into his spam. And what? It wasn't a mail. It was through the Yahoo um, communication. communication system. Oh. So, so he must have got it. That, yeah. He must have got it. At the point when he dropped it to 20, that's when we offered him 15 mm. for the whole thing. And I guess I, when he didn't reply, I thought, okay, he's just going to try and get 20. And it went around, I think, three times. I'm not sure exactly, two or three or four times. But then when we dropped it to 10, I realized, this guy's nuts. We offered him 15, you know. Yeah. You missed your chance, man. 
so did, you said you bought eight of them? And there, were, there were 10 sets in this batch, and they had originally, I think, 15. We got some of them. We paid a bit too much. I think I paid 30 for the first one of bucks. I really, uh, really, really wanted to see one of these. Right. But I couldn't afford to pay 30 for the whole batch of it. It was insane. Yeah. But I got, I think it was two sets I got. We, we showed them here on the screen, right. and they were really, really interesting because they, they are not normal cherry wood blocks. The key blocks are faced with box weight. Oh, and okay. under the microscope, they are in incredible condition. Really? Absolutely incredible condition. Oh. And there's so many questions. The name, the Hiroshige name in the key blocks is done with ideki. It's cut out and put in. Oh. And the name of the place, the title of each print, that's yeah. in fact, it, where it shows where it is, that's chopped out and put in with ideki. But these are already boxwood blocks. If it was a weak huh. cherry block, you could put in some important parts, the names and stuff, the calligraphy, you put yeah. it in boxwood. But this is a boxwood block. I have huh. no idea what's going on here. No idea. So I really want to get these things and inspect them and look at them and do some test printing, get them under the scope. Yeah. Oh, right now, tsushima sans working on one right now. I left the blocks. I took, oh, a, okay. I took blocks to Ome, the one Masaki, M-A-S-S-A-K-I. tsushima sans doing test printing okay. on it this week. Huh. The other thing about the money, too, is those things were going around in February and early March when we ourselves, we don't have a whole lot of cash because right. February is a quiet month for us. Yeah. I've still got for the staff to pay. We've got all the other expenses. Yeah. So I don't have uh, fooling around money available right. in February. But uh, as it turns out, we okay. I got my tax refund from yeah. the soil sales tax, and those blocks were still there. He dropped it to 10. Yeah. Dave jumped in the pool. Nothing mm -hmm. else to say. Okay, we finished this in Boston. Let's have a look at this thing. Can we zoom in a bit? I'm not sure quite where yeah. I am, Cameron, so give me a guide here. I'll, I'll zoom in first, and then maybe I can... I don't know if it's going to show the embossing, yeah. uh, the lights on, but here's the print. As yeah. we mentioned, you know, the, the lines are still in perfectly good condition. The sky block now, the grain is totally gone. We have nothing left but a beautifully perfect sky. Mm. The feathering that we carved, the, the itabokashi, the feathering on the sea, all these sea lines, eh? it's sharp at the bottom and it's feathered at the top. Itabokashi, block bokashi, yeah. and it's still in beautiful condition. Wow. This gets worn out easily uh, as the blocks get older. Mm -hmm. We're at like 1,500 copies of this now, some of this camp, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The tip of the boat easily wears out, that's still in wonderful condition. Yeah, yeah. That's, mm -hmm. The wave, of course, this part gets broken. The cartouche, that's the classical part that gets smacked up and broken. And we're just perfect. And we know why. I carved this on boxwood. It's a separate insert block yeah. on boxwood. Yeah, this area by this boat here, this is classically worn out. We're just, I just, it, whatever. It's just perfect still. Absolutely perfect. Wow. Nobody complains about this, the little part that's a mistake. That's supposed to be dark blue. They forgot it on the original. And yeah. I copied the mistake. This it, Going by the pattern, that's supposed to be dark blue up in this zone. But they yeah. didn't do it that way. Huh. And all the little places, there's a little place down in the middle here where there's a little, uh, where is it? Get my close-up glasses. Well, here, this little thing, there's a little bit of blue that the people yeah. carving the original version didn't clear out, so I left it the same thing, didn't clear oh. it out. You know. So you made a replica. <laughs> well, yes and no. We, the thing about the black, the original had the black on the boat here because they right. used the same block for the sky and the straw boats. So when yeah. they decided to put a gradation in, which wasn't on the first version, the test versions, obviously... Mm -hmm. But when they decided to put a gradation in, the boat became black, and they left it. <coughs> but for me, I kept them separate, of course. You got it. So, so there we are. Our great wave is in spectacular condition, even after 1,500 or so copies. Yeah. We're really looking forward to seeing how many this will go to. I, I can't put a number on it. You know, when it got to 1,000, then it was looking so good, I said, maybe we can go to 3,000. But now that we're at 1,500, and it's still perfect... I don't know, whatever. Yeah. We just see how it goes. I, I don't have enough experience. We are gaining experience with this as we go. Yeah. And it's a bit misleading because if we say, look at this, Ukiwe prints, you can make 1,500 copies with no wear. That's only true if you do it like we do. Print 60 copies at a time, let the block sit for a month, you know, and yeah. take your, make your printers use soft pigments. Because back in the day, they'd have made their 1,500 copies in the first few weeks, you know, because maybe it's a bestseller, the yeah. way they go. And the blocks would have worn out. A 1,500 copy block would have been much more worn. Mm. So this experience we're having is interesting, but it's not transferable directly back to the old days because they didn't treat their blocks the same way that we're treating our blocks. Yeah. Right. Anyway, data is data. We're getting it.
Yeah. My job today, if I get a chance during the day, I've got to go through and pick out the small bits of uh, bark that are left in the thing here, do surgery on a few of these. Oh, yeah. We perhaps might lose a few during surgery. We'll see. Because okay. they've got to go to home and if you've been selling them, we've got to ship them. Yep. So, yep, that's it. Um, someone asked, since you've been working with woodblock prints for many years, would you say that there is a renewed interest in printmaking in Japan from what it was was like when you started? No, there's a renewed interest or a, a, a sparked interest all over the world, right. almost everywhere except Japan. <laughs> Japan is a bit of a paradox. You know, if I say, well, printmaking is nothing here, that's not true because there are it's a hobby for thousands of people. It's a big deal. You know, people yeah. make New Year's cards out of prints and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Asuka Sensei's workshop is flourishing. He has more students than he can handle. Yeah. Matsumura San with a 50, 60 page catalog of goods selling stuff all over the country. Yeah. Woodblock printmaking by itself, it's okay in Japan. Mm -hmm. What's pretty much on its last legs is the traditional way of building a workshop where designers design and carvers carve and printers print. Got it. That's been staggering all through the 20th century. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of a paradox. I don't want to say it's dead. You know, we saved it and all that stuff, because that's not true. Yeah. Okay. What we have done is we've built a workshop in the traditional style, a really healthy workshop. Yeah. And that's a new situation. There's been nothing like that since the, whatever, the 1960s and 70s, Adachi and Takamisama were flourishing, selling tons of prints, yeah. reproductions. So yeah, it's paradoxical. There's different stories. And yeah. also overseas, what is happening? There's a staggering amount of interest now overseas. Yeah. Yes. We have time left on the stream, right? Can yeah, we right? it's only so or three. So. Okay, let me get back to some, some real work. Okay. Should I zoom in on it? I'll try find it in a second. Get it? Okay. Should be somewhere around here. Looking good. Up here, I can't, I can't yeah, see the screen great. anymore. So, you can. I, uh, I, I tipped off the stream here that something's happening. There's a couple of deliveries happening today. I mentioned right. And one delivery is the post office delivering those 10 blocks, the Takamizawa mm -hmm. reproduction blocks. I also mentioned there's another little delivery. I think it's coming from Sagawa Cuban. Oh, from yes, the Raymar company. I, yep, I've seen those emails. So, <clears throat> but I also did warn them, don't get it. I mean, get excited all you want, but don't think this is happening tomorrow because, yeah. man, we are just so busy this week, you know. Yeah. And what I tell you what I should do is we know that I've been doing the carving on that. Uh, where is it? The block for my next print in the art series, right? Yeah, the boys with the hair the boys that with you're the hair. carving. So I think when the little Raymar tool gets here, We'll use it for that. I'll try and get. Uh, have I lost it? What have I done with that block? It's supposed to be like right here, waiting to be worked on. Hmm. 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 It must be here somewhere. Yes. I'm so anyway, sure when we get the tool set up, we'll do that. We'll get the boys here done, and we'll do a real fancy stream. Cool. Where everybody can see. Hair carving, yeah, in real time and real YouTube. I think I'll see the hair follicles. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Dave, stop talking. Get work. Bento eighty two said. Uh, Bento. Bento. Yep. <laughs> Lunchbox said. Um, yeah. Woodblock printmaking in Japan is becoming a bit like many other creative fields today. The artist creates, produces, and markets and sells their own work. It's becoming a, kind of a one-man show. Well, that's, like, that's so happened also. Exactly. So that's also yeah. the 20th century. The you know, origins of the soul soccer printmaking, but we'll go back to the early 20th century. So yeah. when they, people started doing it by themselves, you know, so artists rather than craftsmen. You know, so. There aren't a whole lot of people now in Japan able to make a living as a woodblock printmaking artist. Not right. so many. Like, mm -hmm. There might be some. I don't know. I'm out of touch with that world. But, uh, yeah. but yes, it exists. So. And that's that's a part of it that we really don't know much about. So. Yeah. According to Gami, is guessing that the uh, the boy blocks are hanging out with the Hanami cat's color separation sheets. <laughs> they better not because those are in the garbage. <laughs> I hope not. So that would be trouble. I don't think I'd be throwing away a wood block. I'd clean up my desk and get rid of loose scraps of paper, which was a mistake. But uh, the blocks, they're here underneath something else yeah. or something. I, I hope. I don't know. 
to do with that camera uh, yeah. yesterday. It's, it's no joke, you know, it's just become ah, whatever. You're supposed to help me with that stuff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. See if I can blame somebody else for this. <laughs> more microaggression somebody was telling me Dave's always fun with Cameron with the microaggressions you know making his life hell and stuff <laughs> I hope not I don't think so but, yeah. oh that reminds me that reminds uh -oh. Me. oh no oh, YouTube yeah. YouTube went nuts again last night again when, uh, the algorithm yesterday the algorithm went into up mode instead right. of down mode and, and but overnight it did it again it's so sweet for me you know, People think, Dave, you're kind of a happy guy. You know, people keep saying this. Yeah. And I am a happy guy, but there's a reason. Well, one reason I'm happy is that I get some sort of drug boost every morning. And literally, <laughs> literally every morning of my life now, I get this kind of a, what are these words? Dopamines and all this kind of stuff. I don't yeah. even know what these, these words are. Right? <laughs> so this morning, too, I, I, I left on my, I wake up at 6 o'clock, bang, exactly 6 o'clock. This morning, I didn't beat the alarm. The alarm beat me. But most okay. mornings, or some mornings, I'm there stopping it one minute before it goes off. Yeah. Other mornings, it gets there first. So this morning, 6 o'clock, I get there, I sit up, the thing, and grab my computer. And it's not a sad story, getting his computer before he still gets out of I have to, because two things. I've got to check party reservation cancellations yep. right there early in the morning, and staff cancellations. Dave, I don't feel well, I'm sick, I can't handle this. Yep. So those have to be checked right in the morning. So whatever, so I check the email today, there's no cancellations, there mm -hmm. was only one sick, Ishikawa-san cancelled. No. Oh, Ishikawa-san. But then also, so while I'm there, I check the YouTube comment feed. I get it. I know you can't see it in both, but in my own channel, I can see a comment feed of all the comments from all the different videos that are up yeah. there. You know, normally when you look at a video, you can see the comments for that one, yeah. but I have a feed that shows the comments for everything. Yeah. And this morning's, you got to see this. Go to the, go to the, well, you can't do it here, but these guys, go to the, the Remembering a Carver video. I'll do it on this one. <laughs> Whatever, okay, go, go to the Remembering a Carver video and look at the comments. I don't know, this is probably going to show most popular. Forget that. Put them in order of uh, newest, newest, newest yeah. first. And you'll see what I see this morning. And every day, this is what I get as the start of my day. <laughs> and I shouldn't be telling a story about myself because basically what I'm saying is people are telling me how wonderful I am. And this is the first thing I get every morning <laughs> of my life now. I wake up, I open my eyes, sleep, I can barely see the computer screen and there's a stream of comments. Dave, you're so cool. Dave, you're so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so of course I'm in a good mood. Yeah. Oh, hi, good you. morning, good morning. Good morning. Hey. You know what we're doing? So, yep. you, uh, so good. where's Usually the camera? on the other end. You're watching. So, so, so. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching. Oh, here we're watching. Still, ten minutes ago. <laughs> Have you been introduced on the stream yet, or not? Just, no, I mean, you're not. You're not going to sit on the street on, on the stool table. I'm not, not going to sit in today. No, 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 no. I but just at least just to say, say hello for, for politeness. So, yeah. Hi, so. I'm Karen. Yep. Usually watching the Twitch stream. Here. AKA Vivid KP. Yes. Oh, you're gonna you're I'm you're gonna out myself. you're outing yourself. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I just say that, just to see what's going on. She's here for what? Is it about two weeks? About you're two in weeks. Tokyo? Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. she's going to spend a little bit of time upstairs printing, and she's offered to help us with all kinds of stuff, whatever she could do. Very much yeah. appreciated. Thank you. Not having much luck with the shirt blossom weather, though, unfortunately. The rain, yeah. rain, rain. So. Oh, that's all right. So what, again, what was the, it's all about the hair again this morning. Yeah, I, I just was looking what's at What's going on with this? My hair. <clears throat> it's my real hair. What's going on? Winds bleed says. So we just gonna ignore this dude's beautiful luscious <laughs> hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be a put on, right? It's gotta be a joke. I don't know. Rasputin and Justin Bieber's grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's, this is what I see every morning when I wake up. I check. I have to check the mail because I got a little party party reservation changes. You know, yeah. but I see the YouTube comments. So by the, I haven't been awake for more than one minute. I'm already just laughing. You know? <laughs> yeah. So of course I'm a happy guy. I get this every morning. You know. So. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. I thought maybe Ray would be upstairs since you said, oh, maybe that's her going up, but there's well, somebody up there. Nobody's up there? Well, I heard, I, heard, I heard the door go cook, cook. <laughs> Well, you Whatever. heard me go in and up. And just right now or like 10 minutes just ago? Just right now, okay, okay. Not, not 30 minutes ago. Okay. It is confusing mm -hmm. sometimes. The kimono shop, their stairs are on the right-hand side of their shop. Our stairs oh, are on the so left. It's so it's, yeah, if somebody up there goes up with heavy shoes, then I can't tell which it is. Yeah. So. 
grasping. <laughs> what is this? got a better hairline than me. I've been bald since I was 22. <laughs> so maybe that's what all the praise is about. Held on to your hair for a long time. Well, I'm not holding. That's, <laughs> I don't get praise like this. I, I don't do anything about this. I, you know, it's just it's still just, there. Dave, you've become such a good carver. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I sort of did that. Yeah. But I don't, it's like saying, wow, you're so high. You know, well, thank you, thank you. You, know. yeah. you don't control your height. You don't control your hair. DNA is just DNA, you know. Yeah. So. Oh, whatever, I guess. You know, I'm, I'm laughing about all this. It's okay, yeah. but uh, you know, I'm not upset about anything, but it's just so bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. I know, 16 year old Dave, who is, you know, a massive, oh my God, who am I? What am I going to do? Am I okay? What's going to happen with my life? Yeah. You know, I was a massive, like every teenager maybe is. Yeah. I don't know. And if that Dave could just see this stuff, he'd just be like, what universe have I jumped into? Yeah. And that's how my day starts and whatever. So, yeah. But Jinjin, we were talking about this yesterday in a camera. I suppose it, could, mm. it was the other way. We hear about these people who perhaps they're they're big on the internet or something, and then for some reason the internet goes against them or yeah. starts. Uh, you know, it just happens to maybe women or something. And if you could imagine this thing being the other way around, if these were hostile comments, it would be really hard to sort of ignore that. Oh my God, the world hates me. I'm nothing, you know, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I have a constant stream of negativity. So, so, so I'm laughing about this exactly. because that's the way it's gone. But it's a bit scary and if you imagine it being the other way around. Yeah. At my age now, if something did happen and it went the other way around, I think I could handle it, just sort of shake it off. Yeah. Because I'm not taking this part of it too seriously. Mm -hmm. But if you were younger, you know, and you weren't, weren't really sure of yourself or something, it could be st stunningly difficult to handle, I think. Yeah. You know? So it's, uh, it's like they talk about playing with fire, playing with matches, you know. Yeah. They keep you warm, but one's false move when you burn your house down. You know, so yeah. So, so, so I'm laughing at this point, but I'm laughing with a little bit of a, what's the word, you know, looking over your shoulder while yeah. you're doing that. Oh, a few minutes ago when you were on, someone did... At Vivid KP. Good morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> so, even though you're not in the chat. Who was it? Who was it? Um, where'd it go? Frozen Runner. Okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> a name we know. Yeah. Is there a link we can pop in that shows some of your prints and stuff? Is it an Insta page where you show I your mean, prints? I don't have it. So, Any... where did I see them? When, when so, you, you just were... emailed them directly I... to us. Ah, I see. Yeah. So, you don't... Yeah. I don't have Okay, it's up to you. Whatever it's up to you. This is the only... Account you have. Oh. And, well, okay, I'm on a site for knitters and crocheters. Oh, oh that's kind of cool. Whatever. Anyway. I, the lady makes nice, interesting, attractive prints, which is why when she suggested to come here, we said, okay. Oh, but it dear, seems you're I'm just being <laughs> normal. I, mean, I know some people come visit here and they, they don't want to promote their own stuff in our zone, which is sort of internet politeness. When you're in somebody else's territory, you don't promote your own stuff. I get that. Very nice. Thank you. But I would be more than happy to show these links and talk about your prints and children. It's as yeah. much as you want to do so. so please. Yeah. I appreciate the, the politeness there, but show us the prints! <laughs> yeah. Do you have them with you? Yeah, we yeah. could probably pull them out. Or whatever, well, anything. Yeah. Sure, of course. And now Cam will start knitting during his commute instead of reading Dragon Ball. <laughs> I finished Dragon Ball. Well, the last book comes out next week, and then... Then that's it. I don't know what I'll do with my life. <laughs> you could maybe get to work, Cameron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I could do that. 